basic way to make cod lures. First, you get a piece of copper pipe, half inch, split it right down the center. And that's what I've been using for my cod lures. And they work. And I've also got my hooks and that set up. I've been using white coat hangers because they're not as thick. As I said, I got a few hooks in here already set up and ready to go. So, we're going to make a cod lure. Take it first. Put your hooks or put your your eyes up top. Crimp it on both sides to make sure that it's hooked in there well enough. And then usually what I do, I can't find it there now. Yes, I know I got missed it. I'm not worried about that. Take your flat top screwdriver. Just lift it up a little bit off the bottom. You get a angle bracket. Done. Now, I got lid that I've already heated up and got all the slag out of so there's no dirt into it. That and a blowtorch. But you gotta be careful with this. All you do is start melting your lid. I try to do it at the top and bottom first and then just fill the rest of it in a second. You see the lid is starting to melt? Because this one here is already still pretty hot. Because I just finished making one. They usually come out close on 5, 5.2, 5.3 inches. As long as your lid is still hot, and if you filled up your mold, it'll usually come out 5 ounces. And this is what I usually do at the end of it to make sure that I'm getting smooth at the end. Just a quick one, there you go. Now she's smooth. Now let that cool for a second. And I got a bucket there to tip it into. You don't want to pick it up too quick. You pick it up too quick, the lead is still liquefied and it could make an awful mess and burn you a lot. You can usually tell as soon as you touch it, you can feel it, you can see the, the lead net shifting into it, and he's almost ready. And now into the water he goes. Just enough to melt it, or just enough to cool it down a bit. And that lid is still hot, even though I dipped it, so I use pliers. Unhook it on one side, unhook it on the other. There she goes. And that's a cod lure. You can put swivels or put whatever you want onto them. Usually what I end up doing is make sure that they're good and 